Hey, it's Curly, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Rogue. Last time, I was actually able to get what I believe is called the Stone Badge from uh, Roxanne, the Rock type gym leader. So we actually managed to do these in this weird order where I got the uh, the, the Fighting Gym <laughs> Badge, the Dynamo Badge from Watson, the Electric Gym leader, and then all the way back to get the uh, Stone Badge from Mark Sand, so it actually has it uh, in order now. Uh, so we have a couple of options here. We can go into this calm energetic route. And there's this uh, tough magical route. And then there's this tough spooky route. I'm thinking that even though I have five, <laughs> five balls total, I'm thinking we'll go on the tough magical route. See if we can find anything cool here. But also, see if we can uh, catch what I think is a legendary Pokemon up ahead. Um, Alright, cool. It, uh... Just use Rock Smash. Um, <laughs> did I teach you Rock Smash? <laughs> no, right? Okay, cool. So you just have the, uh, the HMs and it just does it without you having to teach it to a Pokemon, which makes perfect sense. And it just shows the first Pokemon in your party, I guess, using the move, which is fair. And uh, let's see if we can get ourselves... Okay, some comments are fine. Sunny Day is okay. Uh, it's somewhat redundant just because of the fact that Tortilla can... You know, if we change the ability to become a Drought Torkoal. Which means as soon as she comes out, the sun is out. Right? So it's kind of redundant to have that. But... If something were to happen to Dirtia, I guess we could have that to fall back on. Uh, so we have here only two Pokemon that we can actually catch in this route. Let's see what the first one of that is going to be. It's going to be a Lunatune. Lunatone. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say, I actually also can't even do much with Tortilla here. Uh, so I'd like to just run away, please. No? All right. I'm just going to... Do ouch <laughs> literal psychic damage here. Alright. Uh let's go ahead and throw out Bravo. Who is uh, oh, you read the switch, huh? You think you <laughs> think you're hot shit because you read my switch into a dark time. What the hell? Uh let's try a beat up real quick. Wow, that does nothing. Uh I I would have hoped it would have been like relatively super effective because it's a dark type move, but uh I think it does it based on the, like, attack values of the Pokemon in your party. And, uh, let's get the hell out of here already. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> um, that did not go well at all. Let's, uh... Does it have Levitate? I don't remember if it has a Levitate. Let's try Nipple here. Because at the very minimum, Nipple should be fast enough to run away from whatever shows up. And then the next thing is going to be a Sableye. Uh, do not really want a Sableye, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what that would add to the party, considering that uh, Sableye learns, like, no moves. Um, I think that are useful, and it has, like, not the greatest stats either. He's not going to be able to Mega Evolve or anything like that. He does have the advantage of, um, I think not having a weakness. I think Fairy-type is in this game, right? I think one of our Pokemon learned, like, a Fairy-type move. But if not... Right, then he has that advantage that he doesn't have any weakness, but uh, I don't know if that'll matter. It's actually, I guess, the house really like Watson's. Or what was it Watson's? Oh, that's the gym leader. Not Watson, but the. Uh, let's see if I can hit this in with a magnitude. Nope, yep, it does have the levitate as I expected. Can't use any more items, that's fine. Um. Gonna get some King's Rocks, nice. But not, it's like the Strites family or something like that. Um, we actually don't have Strength, which is a bit unfortunate here. Because uh, we can't go through there. I could have swore we had Strength, but I guess I'm mixing it up with Rock Smash. I think we just got recently, because we have Cut and we have Flash. Um, I've yet to use Flash, <laughs> but uh, at least we were able to use Rock Smash. We haven't been able to get a lot out of this route, to be honest. Did manage to get some super potions so I can heal up Tortilla. I keep checking these spots to see if there's any hidden items. I don't know if that's an actual thing. So, would be nice to see what was over there, but I guess we just will never find out. Oh, unless I can, like, 
go around the, this way, perhaps? Can you like, there we go. <laughs> uh, unless I go like around this way and try and get to it. Oh, okay, it was just a shortcut. All right. Glad I didn't waste my time on that, at least. <laughs> Mystery solved. Uh, let's kind of guess our last item here, which is going to be comment. Uh, it costs a waterfall up, but I don't know if that's a move we ever actually get. And I think that door just lets us leave. All right, well, that's a bit unfortunate. There are zero trainers here. Um, I guess it's that you find more items, but there's like zero trainers to level up. So I guess uh, it's Luna Tune and Sableye. Uh, I don't really have anything that easily takes those out. Um, perhaps we can give Michelle a shot. She hasn't really been able to do too much. So let's go ahead and just take down some of these Pokemon here real quick. Uh, just so I can try and get some levels up on these Pokemon here. Brine is interesting, but I think Water Pulse... Uh, two foals with half HP. No, I think that's fine. Okay, gonna go 38. Kitty's gonna learn Captivate. What the hell does that even do again? Oh, right. Opposite gender loses special attack. All right. And Tortilla's gonna learn Iron Defense. That's kind of whatever. Nipple's gonna go to 38. Cool. Let's do perhaps one more battle. See if we can get to 40. And then maybe take down... Uh, try to take down uh, that what I assume is a legendary Pokemon. 41, and then Tailwind. Tailwind's actually pretty useful. Not gonna lie, uh, that might be more useful than this Silverwind, honestly, because I can go ahead and set up a Tailwind and have my whole party speed increase. Uh, we're gonna learn Embargo, which just means folk can't use items. I don't really care too much for that. Amnesia is actually not the horrible move for uh, Tortilla, but won't bother with that. We're going to actually learn ourselves um, Slash. So now that I know that we don't need Cut, <laughs> right, because we just use the HMs as normal, we can just go ahead and rid of Cut and give a Nipple Slash, which is basically the same move but stronger, right? All right, with that, let's get the heck out of here. And, oh no, we've got a, another route between that. Okay. So we got a calm magical route. Let's go ahead and take into. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh no, no. It looks like this might be pretty simple though. Okay, all right. Uh, we have ourselves a lot of different Pokemon we can catch here. I don't know if there's anything I would like to catch here. That's an Ice type, right? Ice types are like great and all, but uh, they don't become. I mean, they they aren't horrible. It's just depending on the like split, right? The physical special split and the generation that they're in. Cause sometimes ice moves, it's just, uh, ooh, Sheriff's Balls, nice. Sometimes ice moves just means um, ice beam, right? <laughs> and that's it. If you can't use ice beam, then you're just shit out of luck. Uh, what item do you have? Oh, you have an, a what? A ultra berry? Uh, I guess I gave that to you at some point. So that battle this little girl over here. I'm assuming this is uh, gonna be pretty easy to get through, but I guess we'll see. They're gonna have three Pokemon. They got a Dunsparce. Okay, they are already higher level than us, which has been um, annoying, but we'll see. Go ahead and use the Ice Beam. I don't think I've used Ice Beam since I've learned it, which is a bit ironic, because in this generation, I feel like in this generation, Ice Beam is one of the most Iconic it moves it has one of the most iconic um, Animations and like the sound and I feel like a lot of people just used it a lot. Maybe it's just me, you know Projecting but I feel like it was used a lot because of the fact that you know, you had Drake as one of the Elite Four you had um it might have just because of Drake, right? <laughs> I can't really think of anything else that was too crazy that you needed Ice Beam for, but uh, we are going to learn Ice uh, ice Slash, Air Slash here, which is a little bit better than this uh, Psy Beam here. So we actually have a actual like competitive moveset for, um, for Kitty. Flail is interesting. I don't think we actually have a lot of HP to use that with, because I think it's corresponding to how much HP you lost. Um, so if you have a higher HP value, then the move becomes a lot stronger. But I 
do not believe Torkoal has a lot of HP natively, so that might not be that great. Oh, we're going to get hit with the Tether Dance here. And I don't know if that affects Spunda or if it's because it has own temple that it can't be confused. So I don't know if it's the kind of thing if you did use uh, the move, it would actually affect you. Oh, boy. All right. That's, uh, let's go for an air slash, I guess. Okay, never mind. I thought you would be faster with me and <laughs> transform, and I was like, all right, cool. Take this super effective move real quick, but never mind. Cool. All right, so that takes care of that. Um, we do have a Michelle that is paralyzed. Let's see if we can... Oh, Modest Man, which is kind of nice. Let's see if we can find ourselves a paralyzed here. There we go. All right. Haven't needed to heal as much, but I've also gotten pretty lucky with like things that heal me. Three deep sea scales. I don't know if I can really do much with that. Um, so we have this person here. I don't know if there's anything else that I can do because uh, there's some ice over there or some area over there in the corner. And I don't know if there was somewhere I can go before I entered this ice area, uh, but it might have been just a narrow path. Let's just go for uh, ancient power here, see if we can get the the boost, the stat boost, and maybe sweep here, but never mind. Instead, we're going to have our defense lowered. Great. Thanks for that. Mightyena. Let's go ahead and use an Ice Beam here. Mightyena is such a strange Pokemon. Oh, get frozen solid, you punk. <laughs> it's such a strange Pokemon because it is like, I guess, technically like a dog Pokemon, but I just, uh, as, as a lover of, of dogs and dog Pokemon, I just never really felt partial to Mightyena. Oh, I guess you can go to 45. Okay. I learned Future Sight. Who? Papa Roach can learn Future Sight? Um. <laughs> yeah, why not? Get rid of Magnitude. We have Earthquake. Not that Future Sight's a great move or anything like that, but why the heck not, I guess? Uh, Kitty Bravo is going to learn Foul Play. I think Foul Play is just based on your opponent's attack value, right? Um. I mean, beat up did fuck all, right? So <laughs> let's maybe pick up some foul play instead of beat up. And Tortilla's gonna learn Heat Wave. That's kind of nice. That is a slightly stronger than Flamethrower, but has slightly less accuracy. I think it might have a higher chance to inflict a burn. I don't know. But uh, we'll, we'll not learn it for now. Let's see what else you got here. Blaziken! Oh dear. <laughs> That is definitely a step up for what you had before. Let's go ahead and go for this water pulse here. It would be nice if we could learn a surf, or I guess we'd have to specifically get the TM for surf here in order for our Michelle to actually learn a much better water move, because I think the only thing that she can learn other than water pulse is going to be the uh, hydro pump eventually, right? Interesting that they went for the blaze again first, then the magmar. Unfortunately, they are both fire types, which is at least nice and consistent considering this is a quote-unquote team at Magma trainer, right? Even though technically all they used was Mighty Anas and Gold Bats. <laughs> but cool. Well fought. All right. Thank you for the zero dollars that you essentially gave me. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know if I can like go up there or if that's where I came from. Uh, so let's go ahead and yeah, do one of these real quick. There might be some more items. I also don't think I've seen a single Pokemon. I might have, but just completely ignored it. Uh, it's just going to be a dig, uh, dug tree, I should say, not a diglet. Of course, it has Arena Trap. <laughs> so let's see if we can get rid of this with a Water Pulse. I'm not entirely sure how the leveling up works, because sometimes it feels like it'll stop leveling up, and sometimes I'll, I'll just gain another level all of a sudden. Uh, oh boy, an Ice Puzzle. Um, Alright, so we figured this way up at least. I'm getting, I got a little scared because I felt like I was going to run into a, uh, a, uh, um, I'm blanking on Articuno. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> I thought I was going to blank. I thought I was going to run into an Articuno for a second. But, uh, cause this is kind of the type of thing you would find out. And I had no idea the bag could get full. But we'll try and, I guess, use our items more often. Uh, we got ourselves a Trap Pinch again, which I guess I could catch, but I feel like the squad's, like, solid, right? Do you also have Arena Tap? You also have Arena Trap. <laughs> uh, it's actually going to be faster. I'm going to faint. 
faint, almost faint. Did I move that always goes first? No, that can't be the case, right? So let's just go ahead and get rid of this trap wrench real quick and uh, see what else we can find. I think, feel like if we go this way, it'll be a tiny bit quicker. What the hell? There better be an item in there, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm not even, I don't even care anymore. I, I don't have space for it, so I'm not even gonna bother. But, uh, let's go around here. We found another trainer. Maybe not a trainer, because she's just walking around. Uh, maybe she's like a helpful NPC or something? Um, man, this place is freaking huge. I did not expect it to be this big. Hello. No, you you do indeed want to battle. All right, well, let's, let's freaking throw down, I guess. Uh, we got ourselves a Roma lady. Wow, she has a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> All right, we're going to get hit with the Intimidate here from this Marl. I accidentally clicked too fast and went for the Ice Shard, which is going to do absolutely nothing to this thing. It is going to go ahead and stockpile, which is kind of obnoxious because now its defenses are going to go up. So we're going to immediately switch into... Um, yeah, I guess let's go into Nipple here. Good old shiny Nipple. Uh, Malala is like a cool kind of looking Pokemon, but it's one of the worst Pokemon of all time. Unfortunately, aside from its Megalution, which is ironically one of the best Pokemon of all time, but Marl itself really doesn't do anything. It really needed to uh, get itself some sort of other evolution. I, I do did remember seeing like a Twitter post recently where, you know, I, I hate breaking it up because Twitter and Pokemon are like, what a disgusting combination that is, right? But someone had brought up the point that one of the issues with Mega Evolution is that they gave certain Pokemon a Mega Evolution, but then we will, you know, never see that Mega Evolution ever again. And because they have a Mega Evolution, we probably also won't see that... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck! We probably won't see that Pokemon get an actual evolution like Marwell should. Or that Mega Evolution should just been an evolution. God damn it! How did Nipple die? <sighs> I mean, yeah, yeah, Nipple does have horrible. Damn it! <sighs> horrible HP, which is why I was like hesitant at first to to pick it up, but I didn't expect Nipple to die here. Damn it! All right, Nipple is so good, man. It's the the tool's good. It's really fast. Oh man, alright. We got ourselves a Charizard here. This is kind of scary. Well, wow, let's see if this Water Pulse can uh, clean up most of it. Okay, it's gonna hit us with a Slash. Okay. I just say kind of scary because I don't resist fire, right? I'm neutral to fire since Michelle's a, uh, a Water Ice type, right? So if they hit me with a fire move, it might take me out. But Michelle's kind of bulky, so I'm kind of risking it here. And especially since they just be doing the dumbest moves possible. <laughs> like agility and slash. You know the dumb shit? I can't believe I got hit with Iron Tail, which was the only real move this person has used this whole time, I think. But yeah, that sucks. Uh, since Nipple has perished, they are no longer in the party. So I could add in either one of the Pokemon we find here, like that Trap Pinch, to get back the original Nipple. Uh, a Jinx! Whoa. That is interesting. If I didn't have uh, Michelle, I'd maybe consider it. I kind of really like using Jinx. She is a bit of a liability in these types of runs because she's like, you know, she has really good coverage, but she's also really fragile. Extremely fragile, especially to like physical moves. Uh, we have here a Gligar, which we've had caught before, but uh, it does not involve in this version, so there's no point for that. These are just dead ends, so I've just wasted all of our time. Let's see what else is possibly here. Uh, we got a swine up. I would like a swine up, but I already have a ground type and an ice type. <laughs> so I don't know if a swine up is really going to do much for me. A dragon type would not be half bad if I were to get nipple, but uh, if I do manage to catch the legendary th that's coming up, assuming it's a legendary, it might not be a legendary actually. It might just be like a, just a strong Pokemon. Because I've seen like some videos on this, not too much. Ooh, a Dawn fan. Dawn fan's really good. I don't know if it'll like really help me out too much in this run. Um, I mean, maybe it would have since I uh, maybe I should get a Dawn fan because uh, I'm pretty sure it'll probably either have or learn Earthquake pretty quickly, and I can use that 
um, to go around in a circle. What is happening here? <laughs> uh, how do I get the heck out of here? What the heck? Um, I hate these ice puzzles because I just... I can't wrap my head around them sometimes, so I just end up just going around in circles. And they're not even, like, like difficult or anything like that. I'm just really stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I just need to like stop for a second and I can like do it pretty easily, but I just I just my brain is just like uh, Let's just um, keep moving on here uh, bum, 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 bum. There is good old Doug Trio. I can't believe we lost our shiny Doug Trio. Unbelievable man. This game is the apps. <laughs> Loot <laughs> Uh, got ourselves a stick of light car. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, the only thing that's, that speaks to me is the Dawn Fan. That would be kind of nice, right? It is, Dawn Fan is very strong. Um, you know, physically and defensively, right? And an earthquake would be nice, and the sturdy would be really nice, right? So, I, I think, let's go ahead and pick up. I don't think. Any of these balls are really that good. <laughs> I kind of want to keep the Ultra Ball in case, again, this powerful Pokemon that's coming up. Uh, I just remember seeing the statue, and I think that's for, like, a powerful Pokemon. I don't know what powerful means. I'm assuming it means a legendary, but it could also just mean, like, a pseudo-legendary or just something strong-ish, right? That would be considered of that short. But, um... It's usually a catch, a catch. I catch Don Fan and call them Fanny because it's usually a girl, like you know, Fanny, Don Fan, right? But I guess we'll uh, we'll just call you. No, I don't really want to call you that. Actually, I was gonna say Donald, but I realized I don't like that name. Uh, d uh Danny, <laughs> Danny the Don Fan. There we go. All right. Danny, what are you looking like right now? All right, sturdy is great. Rash, not so much. Uh, assurance, knockoff is kind of good. Uh, slam is whatever. Magnitude is fine for now. Uh, what do your IVs look like? Your IVs, okay. Your attack is insanely good. Uh, everything else, not so much. Your, your HP is decent. Okay, so we can work with that. We can work with that. That is fine. As long as, like, your... The... IVs that you need, <laughs> if that makes sense, um, are good, right? Then we're good. How do I get out of here? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Stop making it so hard. <laughs> Just let me out. Let me out. All right. Let's see. Um, can I do like one of these? No, I just keep going to the same spot. Uh, let's see. We do one of these. Oh, shit. Wanna. Oh, damn it. Oh, there we go. Managed to learn Earthquake. I was just spinning through that so I can get past it. You sure, we can get rid of Slam. Slam in my history of playing Pokemon. All it does is miss and sucks. All right, we already, already have Danny to 45, which is nice. I just, I don't even want to go in a specific direction. I just want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and I just don't know which way that is, to be honest. Um, why am I having so much difficulty with this? I swear, I will figure this out. I hope this is the actual way to go. I swear, if it's not, I'm gonna be very upset. Please, please, just get me out. Please, 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 please. Is there? Is there just no way out? Am I? Am I just been bamboozled this whole time? I just, I just want to go that way. Please, please, please. Gosh, I've talked about it, I think, before, but there is this one puzzle in uh, Mega Man Battle Network, the first one, where you had to. You, you were in like a the waterworks PC section, right? So you were in like the water computer, <laughs> the computer for the entire water of the whole city or whatever. And it was getting frozen over because some evil virus, etc. right? And there were parts of that where it was essentially a frozen uh, sliding, frozen slide puzzle. And the worst part about it is that uh, there was a part where you had to go diagonal. <laughs> And I did not know that for a long while. And I actually stopped playing the game because I did not know how to get past that. Because I couldn't figure out how to go diagonal. Or that you had to go diagonal in order to get past that. And it was just the absolute worst. Please. 
please. I, I just can't have five minutes of footage of just me going through a sliding ice puzzle. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Okay. All right. So if I go up, I exit. If I go this way, nothing happens. If I go that way, it just exits. All right. So this way and then this way. What does that for, do for me? Nothing. Because then I go this way. Can I go this way and then this way? No, that does nothing. Okay. If I go straight down. Oh, yes, God, please. <laughs> Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Okay, it should be pretty easy, to, I think, to get to this middle part. Nope. Turns out, that was a lie. Hello, little girl. I hope you're lost. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to say that. I hope you're not lost. I hope you know how to get out of this puzzle easily, because I sure as hell cannot. Please, gosh. Okay. There we go. Alright, we cannot go anywhere else. We can go to this battle rest spot, or we can try and get ourselves a stronger Pokemon, presumably. Right, because I'm pretty sure this will say a powerful Pokemon. Uh, I've uh, got to, at the very least, heal up my Pokemon. I'll at least entertain the idea. But this might end up being just a waste. Um, Shell's high HP count is kind of annoying, considering I'm about to run out of super potions. Let's see if we can perhaps have normal baby potions that I can use to top her off. Nope. Does not look like I have any normal baby potions. Alright. Let's check out our berries real quick. Have a bunch of random bullshit berries, to be honest. Uh, none of them super useful. Okay. So yeah, let's just check this out. I, I'm just curious. Oh... My god. <laughs> why why are you fighting me? There's a Mew in front of me, lady. What is your problem? I press it so fast I didn't even let it show me how many Pokemon she had. Lady, there's a Mew? <laughs> Hello? Quote unquote, one of the rarest Pokemon in this series and you're out here trying to battle me? Can you like maybe get your priorities straight, lady? Let's try and use an Ice Beam here because it should be equally as effective, um, unless this has sturdy, which it does not, because we're actually running out of water pulses here. I think I do have the berry four. Um, PP power points, but maybe I don't. I don't actually remember. That is sucks. That's actually a super effective hit. But Corsola is kind of a horrible Pokemon, so we should be okay. I forgot this thing got a like. Uh, Galarin. I forget which version of Pokemon it was that I got another form and it was like this insanely strong thing just because of I, I honestly don't remember what it was but I just remember it was just this insanely like broken thing which sucks and I was liked course I wanted to get an evolution but it did not All right, let's go and try and use a water pulse here finish this off there we go and then get Michelle the hell out of here, unless it's definitely faster than this. Uh, no, let's go into Dan. Mm, Danny's uh, ground type. <laughs> that might be bad. Oh god, the head smash! Okay, thank lord I switched. <laughs> let's go ahead and use an earthquake here. Even though this thing has a lot of HP and defense, I believe, but either way, it's not gonna be able to stand up to that. Cool. Get that the heck out of my face. Alright, let's try and. I don't even know if I want to bother with a Mew. Uh, because honestly, what good would it do me to have a Mew? Right? What what good is that going to do me? Realistically speaking... Yeah, there shouldn't be any other Pokemon here aside from this Mew. It doesn't seem like there's any items and it's running away from me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bro, get your dumb little cat ass over here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fires the sliding ice puzzle and all this. <laughs> Bro, get over here and I can't run either way. Oh my god. This is a mess. I can't even like see where it's going. I definitely should have bumped into you by now. Alright. Alright, Mew. I have to at least encounter you, right? Do I have to talk to it? Cause I feel like I ran into something and I just couldn't like Keep going. <laughs> so let's just mash. Whoops. Mash the A button. All right. I super speed and that somehow let me catch up to it, which makes no sense. That is also freaking Mew here. Um, which 
Well, we don't really do much for us. Uh, let's try Ancient Power. I don't know what it did, but it missed. <laughs> you can technically learn any move, right? Let's try another Ancient Power here. What did it use that I went slower? Oh, it used Metronome. Okay. Night Slash. All right, that's kind of whatever. Um, you also has 100, 100 stats, right? On all of them. You can hit us with a Psychic. It is a Psychic type. Okay, that didn't do too much. We'll use our last Ancient Power here, I guess. It's gonna use Guard Swap. Uh, that doesn't really change much, I think, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> In terms of stats, I think we're pretty even, right? Let's go ahead and use an Ice Shard here. Oof, okay. It's gonna hit us with another Psychic here. We're going to switch over to... Did I get rid of Sea Powder? Okay, no, I still have Sleep Powder. Okay, so let's go into Kitty here. Who, at the very least, has a Sleep Powder. Hopefully can take a Psychic. Yeah, decently enough. Let's go ahead and hit it with the Sleep Powder. It's going to use the Metronome, because it is faster enough. It's going to hit us with Grass Knot, which does just about nothing. Because I four times resist that. Let's go ahead and put this Mew to sleep here. And, well, uh, yeah. We'll, um... Spray and pray here. Let's just throw Pokeballs at Mew and see what the heck happens, right? Oh. <laughs> okay, we caught Mew. I don't know if we made the encounter rate. Not abysmal, but we got ourselves Mew. What do I get rid of for Mew? <laughs> I wish I could at least look at Mew's stats. Like, I can't say, you know, Mew is a bad Pokemon, right? <laughs> It is definitely not a bad Pokemon. Um, so I'm inclined to either get rid of Papa Roach or Danny because they somewhat fulfill the same purpose. Uh, Papa Roach is a little bit more useful, but I do have double water types, right? So that might not be as useful. Uh, yeah. I mean, all of these kind of have, like, perfect stats to an extent, right? I think maybe, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get rid of Papa Roach. I'm sorry. But I think Mew might be slightly better. Give a name. I usually name Mew something cat-like, but I already have Kitty, so I don't know what to name this thing. Uh, uh, I don't know. I know Mew is genderless, but we're just going to call you Linda. <laughs> Right now, because I don't know what the hell else to call you. All right, let's get the heck out of here. So we have ourselves a Mew. Um, yeah, at least managed to heal it for us, which is nice. It has a hardy nature, which means it gets nothing. Uh, it has not the craziest IVs, but it actually has IVs where it needs to be, so that's good. It has, oh, just Mega Punch. All right, so it has, it's at least Psychic. I don't know if there's any moves that I can teach it, to be honest. We'll take a look. Let's go ahead and use a Super Potion here. And go ahead and I guess use a Hyper Potion here. I don't know if I'm going to want to use that dumb lady. <laughs> that keeps fucking talking shit to us. Let's go ahead and use a Modest Mint on Linda as well. Right, so that'll be our premier special attacker at the very least. And, um... Let's go ahead and see. We have nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I had a bunch of... <laughs> oh my god, let's just go. I don't know why I thought I had a bunch of... Uh... <sighs> sure. I, I don't know why I thought I had a bunch of TMs all of a sudden, but I don't have anything. Let's go ahead and battle this Chansey real quick. Just so we can get... Um, I should have not have used Waterfalls. <laughs> just so that we can get Linda up to speed here. Maybe she'll learn something decent. She just instantly goes to 45. All right. Thank you. Let's go ahead and see if any of these are the berries for power points. None of these are the berries for power points. Oh, shoot. Do we have any ethers? I do not have any ethers. Oh, man. Like, we're not in the worst spot, but... Uh, We'll use her this one time to get the free heal, I guess. I wish I hadn't used my potions, but I might need this. I might need this. Uh, all right. 
Ooh, Winona. All right. Winona, flying type, has the Altaria. That's a flying dragon. We'll see how this goes here. They have five Pokemon. They're going to start with a Murkrow. We do have Michelle, thankfully, who should be able to get through this relatively easy, especially now that we're healed up. So we got the Ice Beam. So we can go ahead and clear through this. Mew is going to be a non-factor in this, I believe. I'm trying to think if there's any other gyms that we can fight here. They got a Beautifly. Uh, Beautifly should still be... Oh, I should have gone for the Agent Power. That would have killed it in one hit. Yeah, I was going to say, this should still be weak to that, right? Yeah. But uh, the Ancient Power would have been a, a big <laughs> power move. Okay, cool. So we can... Wow, they really made Renault on garbage, huh? <laughs> Let's go for the Ancient Power here. Get four times. Oh, it has a Focus Sash. Okay. And unfortunately, I did not get the the boost here. We'll go for it again, because why the hell not? Try and get the 10% chance to increase all of our stats and sweep this gym. But I, I can't think of any other gyms where... I would need like a psychic type or anything like that. Okay, it's gonna make it rain, which is totally fine with me. Let's go for another ancient power. I can use uh I can use a U-turn, wow. I can use it against there's a psychic gym, there's the water gym. So unless I give her an electric type move. There's the fire gym. And then there's the normal type gym. <laughs> so yeah, she's she's not super useful. It's just the fact that she has good IVs, which I kind of already had that, right? And the fact that she is a legendary Pokemon that can learn any move. That is pretty useful. So yeah, since we have the modest nature, if we can just get... And we also have the Psychic, and it also has max speed and attack. If we could just get a... You know... Thunderbolt or something like that on, on Mew would be in a really good spot. I'll have to see if we can go to one of the rest spots and see if we can maybe teach it a move. But we're going to very easily pile right through Winona because I decided to give her two bug flying types and pretend like that was going to make her stronger. And we ended up getting HM Strength. They took away her strongest Pokemon, which was Altaria for <laughs> that nonsense. But uh, all right, we got ourselves an average course route and it's the home of a strong pokemon i don't know what that means and we got an average swarming route we'll probably end up doing this one next time till then take care of yourselves and each other and have yourselves a damn good one